So in the last video, we had created this uh, contact form where we can contact the owner of this uh, particular property. So now let's go ahead and uh, create a server action such that when we uh, type a message and click send, so it should uh, officially send the message to the contact owner. And uh, once we log in, we should be uh, able to see a message uh, icon over here to uh, see all the different messages that the property owner has received okay so let us uh, go ahead and get started so in the last video we have uh, had a small uh, typescript error uh, while passing property to the contact form so this is because uh, when we try to fetch a property by the uh, url params so this uh, id could uh, be invalid right so there might not be a property with this particular id so what we can just do is we can um, you know go to the contact form and uh, we can also set this to uh, null okay so which means that uh, we can also have uh, we can also not get any property with that particular id okay so after setting this you can just go back to the uh, contact component where we are importing so let us check if there is a property then we pass in the property otherwise we pass in null okay so uh, that error should go away and uh, all the other errors are coming by accessing the owner from the property object right so we can just uh, put a condition here saying that uh, if there is no property then we can just return by saying uh, property not found okay so which let's put in a inside a div okay by the way this doesn't uh, actually exist okay so anyways when we click on a property that id will always be existing so if we like in case type in manually or something we can just put in this error saying that uh, property not found okay so like 404 and uh, yeah that's it so uh, by this we fix that error so now let's uh, go ahead and uh, create a server action to uh, you know when we submit this uh, form for this contact form it should uh, you know pass in the message and send to the uh, appropriate property owner of that okay so let us open our actions file and uh, let's create a action to send a message to the property owner so let's create a function to let's call it uh, send uh, message so this which is going to be an async function and this is going to receive the message itself which is going to be of type string and inside the body of the function we can open our try catch and then pass in the uh, message to the uh, particular uh, message model that we created okay so let's open the try catch and inside this uh, let us store the response in a variable and set this equal to await db dot message this time okay so make sure uh, you get message okay so if you don't get uh, by suggestions uh, which means that you might have uh, not applied the migration properly so rerun your migration command once again so after doing that you should be able to see the uh, without any typescript errors okay so let's use a create method to create a record of a message and we just need to pass in the within the data object and inside this let us uh, pass in the message itself so that is coming from the message okay so we can just leave it like this by you know inferring to this uh, message that we are getting as arguments and uh, after that we also need the sender id and also the property id okay so uh, you see that when you hover on this uh, we get uh, certain attributes that we need to provide okay to uh, you know store a response to st store a record to our message table so let us so let us pass in the sender id and uh, that is coming from the uh, user id okay so also we need to pass in the user id so uh, we all we can also receive the user id okay so whatever the user whoever has logged in within the application so we need to also get the id of that right so we can get that uh, which will be of a uh, type string and uh, then let us uh, sorry the sender id okay and then let us also pass in the property id okay and let's receive also that so property id and which is also going to be of type string um, okay so then we also need to get the receivers id okay so okay and also let's pass in the receivers id so once that's done uh, we can uh, convert this to number by adding a plus behind that okay so okay so actually this need, should not be done like this so it should be like this so sender id and convert that to a 
number okay so like this and also let's do the same for the property id so let's uh, finally return the response all right and if there's any error we can just say uh, error sending message and and pass in the error okay so once that's done let's export this uh, send message and yeah so once the send message uh, server action is done we can now go back to the contact form and uh, import that okay so uh, this is the form that uh, we are trying to submit so when we click on the submit button this particular function uh, where is that yeah here uh, we are just for now logging the values to the console so we can just uh, call a function like let's say handle send message all right and let's create that function at the top okay and this is of course going to be an async function and uh, we are going to receive the uh, particular message okay within this and actually this will be getting in the values object so within the values we have the message okay so values and again let's open a try catch so try catch and uh, inside the try block let's uh, pass pass in the let's get the response so and set that to await and call the send message server action and uh, we just need to pass in uh, four arguments right to the function and uh, so we'll just be doing that one by one so if there's any error we can just uh, catch that okay so for now we can uh, we are expecting four arguments so first thing is to get the user id okay whichever the user has logged in so for that we need to import the uh, use uh, sorry use session hook from uh, next auth right so let's get the session okay and do you get that in the form of data and i'm going to rename that as session and set this to use session that is coming from next auth okay so next auth slash react and uh, once this is done now uh, we just need to uh, get the user id of the uh, logged in user okay so that you get from session dot user dot id okay so uh, that is the first argument that we need to pass in okay so uh, we need to pass in the right order by the way so if we go back to our server actions so the first one is the user id right that we yeah sorry first is the message and then the sender id okay so then uh, let us uh, first pass in the message itself so values dot message all right and uh, then we have is the user id or the sender id which we can get it from the session dot user dot id and then we need is the uh, property id right so that we get property from props so we can just say the property dot id and finally is the property owner id right so you get that by property dot owner id all right so yeah that's good uh, now we can uh, you know get uh, console log the response and see if we are actually sending a message or not so after that uh, we can just uh, you know put in a flash message saying that message sent successfully and also if there is any error we can just uh, say that uh, like we failed to send a message like try again later so we are getting a typescript error saying that uh, this uh, session object could be either a string or could be undefined okay so uh, for that uh, as i told you we do not want to show the contact form uh, if we are not logged in okay so let us put a, a check over here like if there is a not if the logged in user is uh, not there then we are going to return from the function by saying that please log in to uh, sign in to send a message to the property owner so let's check that if no session okay so if there is no session the session itself will be null okay so then we can uh, use the alert component okay from and design okay so so the alert itself if i can just show you that so if we go to and designs and go to alert and alert and you see that we can show in uh, certain boxes like this for uh, different variants so one is for success one is for info okay and then pass in the type for that okay so this is how you can actually use it so i'm just going to grab one of these so, okay so we are using the info over here so it's not even an error or warning or success anything like that so we can just uh, replace this with that and let's import alert 
I guess it's already imported. Yeah. So let's pass in the message of please sign into uh, send to contact the owner contact property owner all right and the type is going to be info okay so if i just uh, go back and show you that so so actually i we need to return all right so if i just go back and refresh you see that we get the message of please sign in to co contact the owner property owner okay so this should be please okay so once that's done now uh, the typescript error should uh, probably go away yeah okay since we are returning there itself so we are not uh, not even showing this uh, form over here so also we need to uh, check for this property id it says that uh, this is going to be of type number but here we have annotated that as to be string okay so we can you know convert this also back to a number okay so once that's done i'll also the same for the property owner id okay so number okay so the property owner id is uh, going to be the receiver id right so that's done and let's also give the type for these messages which is going to contain the messages object and which is going to be of type string all right so values dot messages uh, not massages it is messages and yeah the, that sorry message and that looks good okay so now uh, we can just go and uh, put a flash message uh, before we uh, you know go and test it out so let us import the show message from our uh, custom hook that we built so for the flash messages by the way so that is coming from use message and make sure that is coming from your context and we can just uh, display the message after we uh, get the response okay so let's check if we are getting the response and then we uh, show message by saying that message sent to property owner okay so and then we just need to pass in the variant of success okay and if there is any error we can just say that error sending message and try again later and this is the variant of this let's change this to error all right so once that's done now uh, let's now go ahead and test this out so now i am officially logged in so i am able to see the contact form so if i just type in a message like let's say hello just for testing and click on send so yeah we should we got the message saying that message sent to property owner okay so now let us check the console uh, by so this is the response that we are getting so we get the created at timestamp and uh, these are all the um, this is all the message properties that for the schema that we created for the message okay so we are getting all the particular details okay so this is just to uh, check if the uh, exactly it's working or not okay so uh, looks good so let us uh, verify that uh, within our database if we are getting this message for this particular contact for, for this particular owner so once you log into your uh, mysql workbench uh, with your particular database name and uh, when you query on the message table you should be able to see a, a record over there by uh, created by the message hello that we just sent and uh, these are the created and created at and updated at and uh, for the particular property id which is 30 and uh, the sender id which is the id which i have officially logged in and this is the receiver's id that is john okay so let us verify that so when you go to the users table so uh, this is the account which i have logged in as uh, id 10 okay and uh, the receiver receiver's id that is john do right so that is the id of 7 okay so that is all uh, looking good so again back to the message so we also get other properties that is read by default it is false and uh, yeah also the property id which is 30 which we already saw okay so uh, this is looking good and so we do not want to show the contact form or the 
uh, alert message for the property who is viewing their own property okay so for that also we can just put a check and uh, if to check that if the current property owner is the currently logged in user uh, then we just need to return nothing from this function okay so that will just be blank so let's also put that check so we can just say that session dot user dot id and if that id is equal to the property dot owner dot id okay then we want to just return from the function all right so uh, okay so this should be a of type number and yeah so with this we should not be able to see uh, either the contact form or the uh, alert message okay so if i now try to log out from my account and uh, after that we should be able to see the uh, message box over there please sign in to contact property owner so also it will be good to show a icon over here so by just uh, you know passing another prop called show icon okay so that that's just a small addition there so if i just refresh i should be uh, this looks more uh, better okay so in the next video we are going to list all the different messages that we are receiving as a property owner okay so let's uh, start with that in the next video